Um, my role in Secret Data is um, one of the ten actors, Sean Al, my director, spoke to me about it in January that he'd had this idea for a while. And, um, and it was quite an epic idea and he wasn't sure if he could pull it off or if they could manage it and he asked me if I'd like to be on board. And it was very strange because you don't know what you're saying yes to. You just know that you're going to do maybe six, seven shows. You have no idea what they are. You don't know who your cast is. You're going to be spending a year with nine other people that you don't know. That excites me personally. Some people might find it scary, but I thought it was incredibly exciting. Everyone has very different personalities, and it's not its not as simple as we have different backgrounds, or different looks, different ethnicities, um, different um, first languages, um, even though those are all factors. There's the people who jump in head first, and then there's the people who observe, and then decide what they're going to do. Um, and then there's the people who, are, who hold back a bit, and then slap you in the face, basically. Um, and I don't know where I sit between those, yeah, but I think that's the thing. I think these initial, where we sit initially is going to shift constantly by the work we do. But when I did my first school play, when I was about three or four, I just knew there was something, something was going on and I liked it and if I could, I, I'll do it for the rest of my life. To actually get into professional acting, I, because I'm from the Wirral near Liverpool originally, and there were open um, auditions for Scrooge at the Liverpool Empire, the um, Leslie Brooks musical. And just through a series of auditions, I got part as Tiny Tim, and that sort of led then to me getting Oliver in the London, uh, London Palladium in the West End, going to a stage school for a while. It led to some TV work, and then eventually theatre. I loved a lot of dark art, and um, not the dark art, but dark art and surrealism. And I was obsessed, I was obsessed a bit with Dali, and because it made no sense to anyone, but for some reason, every time I saw a piece of it, it made utter sense to me, and so that. Anything a little bit twisted, um, also film-wise, uh, uh, Tim Burton as well, that sort of twisted, gnarled. I think that's just what my head's like inside, not everywhere I like. <laughs>